I think it's probably also what you uh, talked today. Um, unfortunately, I don't speak um, Italian. I just uh, grab some words um, because I speak French, but I think it's really not enough to understand the things properly. But what you said also for uh, Teatro Valle, Roma context, I think I quote here Andre Holm. He said, readiness to enter alliances and cooperation that go beyond one's own milieu. I think this is a very crucial uh, point for that, uh, what we do. And um, uh, as I, I got just 10 minutes of time, I just wanted to show you very briefly some formats which we are experimenting or let's say what we try. And I think um, for us, public was always um, a point, but this uh, not on a quantity, but if probably on a qualitative level, a learning from each other or transfer of knowledge, let's say. And um, I have this, uh, let's say, third title, which uh, leads to some uh, photos uh, of my presentation is Citizen as Experts. In the frame of the art of urban intervention, the experts of the Annenviertel have always had and will always have their say. The citizens who live and work there and use the public and social spaces. They have practical knowledge and we consider a true treasure. Rotor has tried in different projects, formats to bring this knowledge of local and transnational history and stories to light. And I just wanted to show you here um, some of the images and tell a little bit about the formats. Uh, it's here? It's here. This. Okay. So. Um, Together with Elke Krasny, the, she's a cultural theoretician, we developed the whole project. And um, she had, um, how to say, two formats in form of guided tours. And uh, this one was called Exploring the Annenviertel. And um, we found several inhabitants, how, how to say, who showed us their Annenviertel. And here we see Gustl Eisner, for example. Another one is from uh, a worker from the um, from the pharmacy nearby. Um, sh this was the first section. The second was called Working in the Annenviertel, where we visited very different workplaces of uh, um, people. So you you can see already uh, diversity of the of the district. This was, for example, one format, um, and. People liked it, they joined us, how to say, we discovered together um, this, uh, this Annenviertel, this quarter where we, we are based. Um, uh, an important fact is also uh, that um, we document that what we do and we archive it somehow and there is a um, free radio station called Radio Helsinki and uh, there was a group built of I think more than 12 people who, um, how to say, uh, did a, a, a broadcast called Voices of the Annenviertel and there were um, broadcasts like um, Lesbians in the Annenviertel, the end of the fasting months, Ramadan, anarchist Annenviertel, remembering and forgetting. So you can see it's uh, also going, um, how to say, um, in discourses which are sometimes a little bit hidden uh, and not so much in, in the mainstream discourse. There is um, um, still a block going on, a community block um, called Annenpost. Um, this is, um, how to say, this is managed, let's say, by the University of Applied Science, the deg degree program of journalism and public relation. And I think this is also an important archive. I think there are more than 700 articles already published. Uh, um, then, um, I just want to show you some of these uh, uh, images and then I will stop and we, we can also you can um, ask me because we, de we developed really enormous masses of formats and we really exper still experience um, uh, in a new project which we start end of this year. Um, this is Nini Kervaliste from uh, Georgia. She learned us to knit out of plastic bags um, uh, small, uh, so plastic bags, which you normally need for the garbage. We knitted together some beautiful bags, like you see here. And what is nice, why I selected this photo is, if you look at the background, you see uh, the photo series by Paolo Di Bello from um, uh, uh, Isola. So um, we exposed also her work, and she also developed the project in, in Graz, uh, Paolo Di Bello from Milano. Um, there is... Um, Davigi Davish. This is also a series, this workshop series we developed with two uh, 
two initiatives in Graz. One was called Büro der Nachbarschaften, uh, which is like the office for the neighborhoods, and uh, the second one uh, is called Paodo. And uh, the idea was, um, um, how to say, to learn uh, the skills uh, from people who, who migrated to the area where we, where we work. So some uh, ka ka kites, kites uh, from uh, Kabul. Um, and what is probably also nice uh, to understand that we also leave the space. So that means not just uh, the workshops happen in, in the rotor space, but we go really, um, how to say, we occupy uh, the parks, we occupy the places, we, how to say, uh, use um, a lot of, um, uh, yes, let's say we, we are everywhere, <laughs> I think. And um, this is also an important fact. Um, I think for also um, what uh, what was discussed yesterday uh, often uh, in this uh, which uh, strategy uh, to find uh, to refuse or how you um, how to define new formats. I think what I believe strongly is uh, to think on a long-term perspective. That means uh, I I don't believe in any kind of uh, short, uh, uh, small interventions or uh, participation project which uh, um, come and then uh, disappear somehow. So I, I believe uh, strongly in a long-term engagement and in a profound researches on the surrounding. Was it enough impact? <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could tell much, much more. <laughs> Ecco, oggi abbiamo parlato a lungo di soggettività, di eh, pubblici, eh, 